Adam, um, I think some of us are having a hard time understanding how it is that this race became so tight and that President Obama had to go up himself on Sunday to try to help Martha Coakley win. What, how did this happen? Well, first of all, you're not, you're not alone with that sentiment. I think that much of the political and journalistic world has the same reaction. Um, a couple of things happened. First of all, the Democratic candidate Martha Coakley did not see this coming. She got the nomination. You know, she went on vacation. She never had any ads ready to go. And she just assumed that since this is Massachusetts and since this is Kennedy's seat, the nomination was tantamount to the um, actual election. And that's just not the case, because on the other side, she had, in Scott Brown, a very effective candidate, smart, directed, good on television. And he also had a very powerful message, or what appears to be a powerful message, in terms of running as an outsider against Democratic overreach and against the health care plan. And as a result, he's got a lot of support from conservative voters, uh, Tea Partiers, and also independent voters, Jane, who we know were big to Obama's uh, election two years ago and have appeared to move away from him in no small part because of what they see as a too aggressive government on issues like health care. Adam, let me ask you, if Martha Coakley didn't realize, should somebody in the uh, Democratic Party have realized, somebody in the White House political operation have realized, should someone else have realized this could be uh, a tough race? Listen, you know, there is an infrastructure in Washington, a political infrastructure, including the uh, Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee, the White House Political Office. That's what they do, right? Because, you know, you have candidates all over the country. Some are good, some are not. They have staff. Some are good, some are not. There's an argument that the candidate here and the staff probably wasn't great. But the reason we had that organization back into Washington is to ride these guys, right, to make sure they're doing the right kind of polling, to make sure they're doing the right kind of preparation, to make sure they're ready for the unexpected. So the idea that she would remain quiet, that's just not a smart thing to do. The idea that she just would begin with so-called comparative ads, you know, ads drawing contrast between her and Mr. Brown, what, I think a week ago Monday, that's also not a right thing to do. She should not have been as caught as surprised by this as she was. So, I, you know, we're going to see if she loses – or even if it's very close, and I'm not, definitely not predicting what's going to happen here, you're going to see a lot of finger-pointing. In fact, frankly, you're already seeing it already among all these organizations about who was at fault here, because as you know, the ramifications of this are enormous.